Hi, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Safe Mama, letssafemama.com, and we are testing consumer goods for lead today using the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit. Um, we showed several other items today that even though they were really high lead levels uh, when using XRF technology to test them, they did not test positive using the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit, and you can find those videos on our YouTube channel. And one thing I wanted to emphasize is that this, these home test kits, any kind of home test kit, only works on some consumer goods, not all. Now, each of these items that we're showing today are written up on the Lead Safe Mama website. This one is written up, uh, it's a vintage blue Pyrex brand. Let me just double check that. Yeah, it's Pyrex. Can you see the logo on that? Um, I can try to, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, 71,800 parts per million lead on the exterior blue paint. It's also positive for arsenic at 697 parts per million. And the issue is it just takes a microscopic, like micro particulate amount of these toxicants to uh, poison you. And this is obviously something where if you're drinking, your lip goes right on the lead paint and the, ar the arsenic paint. So and, and that those do wear over time. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to test this using the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit. I'm gonna start by shining the light. You can only see a little bit of blue. Then Avi's gonna go turn off the light for the room. Um, and you can see the blue a little bit better. Can you see it a little bit better? And the interesting thing is you can also see where the paint's worn, which is, you know, alarming and a lot of levels. So because this is a vintage Pyrex piece and because it tests positive for 71,800 parts per million lead in the paint, I expect it probably will react with the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit, but I haven't tested this in uh, using that kit, so we'll see in just a minute. The other thing I wanna reiterate is that anything 90 parts per million lead and up is an unsafe level of lead in the paint glazer coating if that item is intended for use by children. When this was made, there was not a regulatory standard for lead paint on dishware, and um, and this is significantly higher. It's closer to 90,000 than 90, it's 71,000. All right, so we're gonna spray the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit um, solution, and we're gonna let it sit for a minute and then we're gonna shine the light. And if it's fluorescing bright green, that means it's a high level of lead. And it's interesting because this whole paint, all of this paint is lead, but it's only testing positive in little speckles. I can see more, yeah, yeah, there. So you can, this is a good example of what a true positive looks like. We know this is positive. And one might think, oh, well, it's just a little bit of lead, but it's really not just a little bit of lead. It's a lot of lead. It's an extremely a lot of lead. But there are other mugs that we've tested that are positive for high levels of lead that did not test positive using the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit. You got a good shot of the green? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll hold up the camera and you can turn the light back on. Sometimes you can see this with the light on, sometimes not. It's a little harder to see. You can see it a little bit with the light on. Anyhow, so this is 71,009 or 71,800 parts per million lead and it did react with the reactive agent kit. This is almost 300,000 parts per million lead and it did not react. So you, you don't know if you have a leaded um, mug just from using the home test kit. Although if it does test positive, you should stop using that immediately. But if it tests negative, you know, and it's vintage, it's probably best to err on the side of caution and stop using that. I'll put links to lead-free mugs in the comments here and to the test kit so you can play with it yourself if you want to buy some of that. Um, and I will also put links to each of the products that we've tested today um, in the comments of these videos on YouTube. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. Learn more at leadsafemama.com.